YouTube friends. An interesting little shootout today, uh, some amplifier demonstrations. I have a couple amplifiers over here built by a company called Iron Horse. This is a Princeton sized combo, it's a 112 combo called the Heritage and next to it is also a Heritage. Uh, it's a 112 combo, just a little bit different shaped amplifier. I think it's the width of a champ. Uh, a pair of 6L6s in both amps. They are hand wired, premium components, WGS speakers. Uh, there's an ET65 in the Fawn Tolex combo, and there is a G12C in the, um, the black combo. So I've got a Telecaster, Paul Reed Smith, there's a Nocaster, uh, there's pretty badass 61 Wildwood 10 Stratocaster. I don't know if I get to all of those. But let me just show you, sorry for the hand, show you the pedal board that I've got and see if you can see that. For the most part, I'm going to leave the pedals off. I've got an Analog Man King of Tone, an RC Boost, a Tremolo, I've got a Seymour Duncan Vapor Trail Delay, it's an analog delay. This is a looper. I've got the El Capistan. This is a specular reverb, and again, these buttons just show different mode. All of them are off, and here's a Cali 76 compressor and my tuner. For most part, I just go through the pedal board so I can mute when I make switches and changes. And uh, if I engage a pedal, I will share that so that you can hear how the amplifiers take pedals. The cool thing about them is they don't really need pedals. So with that, let me mount the recorder. We're doing this real old school. I'm just your garden variety regular guitar player. And this is a 63 Custom Shop Telecaster. And it has Peter Florence Voodoo pickups in it. I'm going to plug into the Fawn Tolex. This is the Heritage. I'll give you an idea what it sounds like. I also want to compare the speaker. There's a G12C WGS speaker in the black combo. So we'll compare that. And let me drop my stool down here. We'll give you an idea. This is a bridge pickup. Here's the Heritage. Let me just check my tuning. I think it worked pretty good. <laughs> so I can mute. So you're just hearing the amplifier right now. Beautiful black face type clean. The output control is all the way wide open. Bright control is all the way wide open. Uh, the boost switches are off. The bright switch is off. The volume is maybe at 9 o'clock. Tone stack is reasonably at noon. Reverb is about one o'clock. You can hear the reverb, tube driven reverb. Really nice, spanky, clean. Um, but now what we can do is take the output down a bit and let's take the um, input volume up. Down. I'm getting a good 
it sets a drive, but the volume is not terribly loud. Um, maybe not even band volume. It's pretty hot in the room, though. Depending on where you play, but the output right now is at 10 o'clock. Let's take it up to 1 o'clock. I don't know if the compression on the recorder will show you more gain or if it, you'll just hear a punch here. Now that's actually, I'm feeling the percussiveness in my ears. It's pretty hot in the room. It's, actually, it's really loud. So this amp has tons of gain. Um, let's engage the bright switch. So right now the boost is on. And that's a cool thing. The volume is at noon. The output is at like 1 o'clock. I can back off my guitar volume control. Pretty clean, but you dig in and it gets dirt. Put the amp head into the G12C speaker that's in this combo just to hear the difference of the speaker. Alright, so I just switched over, so now we're just hearing the speaker in this combo, so it's just acting as a speaker cabinet. Wow. Man, that speaker has, it's a lot more efficient. It's like I just boosted the volume almost twice as much. That's crazy. Identical amplifiers. 
Um, so I'm just using this head with that speaker, but let's just hit an RC boost. Got louder, push the front end just a little bit more. That's a great sound. I love the RC boost just for a little bit of a clean boost to push the front end of the amp. Let's um, engage the king of tone. I just clicked it in. switches that sort of thing if that's something you want uh, Iron Horse will customize these for your needs um, great sound of reverb just the right amount of reverb now I've got it up at one o'clock so it's not going to get super surfy or splashy All tube hand wired construction, if you looked inside of these amplifiers, the construction is meticulous. It's like a fine jeweler wired these things up. They're absolutely beautiful. Um, they're also really weight friendly, gig friendly in terms of, of how heavy they are, or light they are actually. And um, just super impressed. Um, they can do custom face plates. This is um, all kinds of beautiful multicolored. You can see you can still get something that's sort of old school Fender blackface if you want or any variations in between. Um, so I'm just really impressed. They're coming in at less than two thousand dollars for a 112 hand wired tube driven combo in a pine cabinet with premium components. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really impressed with these. Let's see. Let's play some blues.
is getting really long. I'm going so many different directions. Uh, there might be a lot of con might not be a lot of continuity. Uh, but I just want to showcase the amplifier with the different speakers. I did switch over to the WGS G12C speaker. It's a 75 watt speaker. I really love that speaker. I think it does cleans great. It handles dirty really well. It's so efficient. It takes whatever your power is and it makes the amplifier louder. Uh, at, at the same settings, I'm getting more. Um, so I particularly like that speaker. This ET65, we can quickly go back to that.